I'm uh, Lieutenant Colonel uh, Jason Littlow. Uh, I'm a Colorado Guardsman. I'm uh, from the uh, MHA Nation, uh, Mandan, Haditsa, Haditsa, and Arikara Nation. So a little history about the uh, Mandan tribe and my great-grandfather, uh, Ralph Littlow, uh, was a medicine man in Fort Berthold. So the, uh, the Mandan Haditsa Arikara uh, tribe in, in North Dakota has about 20,000 members. Five to 7,000 live, uh, live on the reservation. Throughout, one of the biggest things that they really care about is the veterans and in, in, uh, really honor traditions with that, and where they'll have powwows on Veterans Day and they'll do powwows on uh, uh, Memorial Day and such. And so one of the things that I'd like to, to show is, uh, so this is a, a, a war bonnet or a headdress, and this was uh, given to me from my father uh, when I got back from Iraq uh, in 2007. Significant in a sense that the ceremony just, it's, it's usually given to, to males um, uh, for, for honor or uh, something that they've done. And so that's uh, traditionally what uh, a lot of the tribes in the plains uh, end up doing. Another thing that I wanted to talk about is uh, some sage. And a lot of times what they'll do is it's called smudging to get rid of evil spirits to a, a catharsis, a cleansing, if you would say, of uh, an area, good thoughts, good, good vibes. The other thing I have over here is a, a, a ribbon skirt. And so these really came about when uh, <clears throat> settlers from, from French brought ribbons and the, the natives created it for themselves. And it's really a shown of uh, pride and endurance and adaptation. Uh, and strength uh, with, within the women uh, of the community. So, uh, Colonel uh, Jason Littlewell here at the uh, Denver Pow Wow, and uh, while I was here, I uh, reached out to uh, John Berstel. Uh, from the uh, MHA Nation as well. What are your ties or how involved are you? I know that you come out and, and do dancing. Uh, well, I'm a part of the uh, Dead Grass Society from White Shields. Um, we do a lot of, lot of, uh, lot of singing for them. For, uh, I'm a singer for that society. Can you say, talk a little bit about the different styles or what you do or your family, sons, daughters? Yeah, um, my outfit, I'm a grass dancer. I've gra grass danced all my life. Uh, just uh, the, the songs are slower and they're longer. They may not be as fast as the fancy dance songs, but you know, they're, they're, those are really short, shorter songs. So I just think there's a lot more movement and style you have to put into grass dancing than all the other styles. So uh, is there any uh, significance or anything with the, your uh, regalia that, that you have on like, uh, that was passed down to you or well, inspired you? This, uh, I sit in uh, one day at my computer and uh, uh, wanted, a, wanted a new outfit. And, uh, I was just thinking about designs in my head and what, what used, used to come to my head. And, uh, I always used to have a pointing. I always wanted a, something pointing at something. I always wanted to be pointing because, I don't know, this is so, uh, this is what I say as pointing or pointing at something right down the center. Okay. It's going right to you. There's a lot of great aspects of the, the communities and involved. And I know I mostly con uh, concentrated on the, the plains, but within the, the United States and, and, and Canada, uh, there's just a, a wealth of, of, of knowledge and, and history and different medicines and uh, meditation, or really the uh, stewardship of, of the native to uh, really appreciate uh, Mother Earth and, 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 and nature. Um, and work with uh, businesses for clean water or renewable energy or recycling of the resources that we have. So I'm, I'm very grateful for, for the heritage that I have and, and the people within my life that have taught me what I know and where I'm at today. So thank you for the time.